Hey folks, long time no see. Your good friend the man, Jiff Monkey J. Well, had a bit of time off. New baby. Getting to know the boy. All going well. Lots of scout stuff. Summer camp out of the way. One more camp of the year to do. Tidied up the shed, wired it in power, things like that. Been very, very busy, but nothing really worth filming. <laughs> I could have uh, could have filmed the fort that I built for my daughter, but there we go. But anyway, tonight I thought I'd bring you in because um, I've got a little project to do for Wessex Blades. I've got to build him a forge. It's about time I got on and done it, quite frankly. So, without further ado, we've got behind us some air defenders, a welding master as a groin setting, and black beauty to cut up. This is going to be the forge. It's a um, 47 kilogram butane cylinder. Not propane cylinder actually. It's just propane on it. Yeah, that's why it's a propane cylinder. Which is going to make a good forge. I'm going to have half it um, and then save the other half later. So this has been stood out with water filled up to it brim for about two weeks, three weeks, something like that. Then it was emptied and then it's been stood out for a good month and a half after that. So in theory, all the gas is gone. It doesn't smell gassy, you know. It could still go bang. It's very risky. But well why not, eh? You only live once. Let's clamp down to the bench and we'll get some kit on and give it a test off. So I warn you now, it will be loud, very loud. So Turn your music down. We'll have a quick cut, see what it cuts like before we get to the next stage of the project. So protection first. Ear defenders. Mask. Set it to grind setting because it's an automatic mask. Can I get it on with the air defenders on? Probably not. Oh, oh that was close. Spin these around here a bit. There we go. Glasses in place. Hey, Mum.
Right. If you're just wondering why I was going in and out and in and out and in and out back in the job, that's because I was trying to save the blade as much as possible, the, the slitting disc. They're only small. Really, I should be using a 9 inch, but I haven't got a 9 inch. So, I'm using a 4.5 inch angle grinder. Or 5 inch, whatever size the bloody thing is. But, I have got through the bottle. Therefore, it's cuttable. So, um, we'll turn you off now. Come back to you when there's more. Right. Reached about halfway. I think some cutting in my glasses are steaming up and everything else. Got a taste of metal dust. Now it's got bang, so we're obviously playing this right. Um, yeah, so we've cut from here to just past this well bark on here. And that's taken, what, five minutes or so? It's not bad. Not cutting too bad, but you've always got to make sure when you're doing these things that your tools get rest because it's a lot of it. Lot of, you know, it's only a it's only 850 watt grinder. So although it's a Makita, which is a very good grinder, you got to let them rest. There's no point burning it out before you even done the job. And there's a lot of grinding to do on this. Um, but yeah, we're gonna. Got the rest of that to cut, and then we've got to cut down the front. Round this ring. And then we're going to cut out a shape similar to this piece. A bit wider, so that Scott can get the blades, things. Then we're going to weld in two... Um, bracketry per side that you can drop fire bricks into to compartmentalise it all up. I can't even speak tonight. Compartmentalise it all up. So he only has to file one, two or three depending on what he wants to do. And then we're left with um, putting in some air tubes, one, two and three, for for for, for, for blowing, the, for blowing the vents and heating the coals. And we're going to have to put in some sort of trap if we can to, to release the the, 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 the the burn off and everything else. Then we've got to build a frame and then we're going to get in his garage. So that's quite a bit of job really. Um, I was trying to do it for the summer, summer holidays but what with everything else commitments I'm not going to have time. I just hope that he has actually been tidying up his garage over the summer. Any coffee left? Oh, here we are. So that's a uh, well, that's part one, really, guys. Very short and sweet, I know, but um, it's got to be short and sweet. I'll come home from work and put the children to bed, read the stories, done all that lot, and then run out to the shed. And I've got to balance that between scouts, wife, everything else. An explorer scouts have asked me to be an explorer leader, so and in exchange for them becoming young leaders as well. So it's all go, lots of happening, trying to organise an expedition, make an expedition vehicle. Um, long term plan. So don't get any ideas that you'll see anything yet. A long term plan. Got a welding course I'm trying to um, do for TIG. So I can weld MIG, although I'm not coded, but I can weld MIG. And I'd like to do TIG. And I'd like to be a coated welder so I can earn some more pennies to, to fund these projects and things. Because it ain't cheap. Not when it's only my wage. Even when it's the missus' wage as well. It ain't cheap. Because it's bloody childcare. But anyway, let's give you a quick perusal around the shed. Around the man cave because uh, a lot of things have changed in here. Um, quite frankly. So where should we start? I'm going to flip you around. Obviously the front door and the radio. So we've got to have a radio, but front door is curtain sheets thing. So we've got off our benches, right? 
and shelve it on the top. One toolbox, two toolboxes, tubs, 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 grinding bits, pieces, battery chargers, drills, drill chargers, various things on there, and cleaner. A nice long bench. Uh, engineer's flat plate and a Myford lathe that I gotta clean up and sort out. Vice, grinder, welding toolbox, welder, press, and you should see, if I get my elbow out of the way, and my shoulder, a pillar drill in the corner. That's up in the air. On the floor. Oh, and then obviously you've got a bike bench. And this is on. So down there we've got the old filing cabinet, it's now the spraying cabinet and flammable cabinet. It's all in there. Furthest point from the builder. And we've got another toolbox. Everything's powered off that extension cable at the moment, but I know it's not ideal, but you can only use one tool at once. So there we go. Toolbox one and two. Another toolbox. There's a fuck of a lot of tools. And the uh, aluminium bike ramp and scrap pile and various things like that. I'll turn you back around again so you can see my beautiful mug. I mean, whatever it is. So yeah. We've been busy, been on scout cap, some bloody scout nicked my pipe tobacco, which was very despicable of them. We well, haven't found out who it was, but there we go. Back on the rollers for a moment, which is not happy with, and I'm not happy with because I prefer a pipe. Um so yeah, that's that's part one really. Little show around the shed, part one of Forge. 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 So we're gonna forge forwards and uh, heat up. And any other strange sounds I can think of and get it sorted out. So, um, I hope you keep watching. Sorry I haven't made any films for a while. Family gets in the way. Well, don't get in the way because you have to make a decision, but you know, family comes first. YouTube comes second. Sorry, guys. That's what life is. But yeah, we should get some more and we should hopefully do some videos of the scale pioneering and things coming up. We've got a Nighthawk. Coming up for their badges, which is a night hike. Which I should be able to film as well because I've now got permission that I can film. <sighs> so hopefully, you can lead you to what the scout life like is, what like being a leader. Especially if anyone is interested in doing it, by all means, come and speak to me. Us UK wilds, obviously, because having just started all the process off and everything myself, I can um, tell you what it's like for a new person to go. And there are 41,000 kids wanting to be scouts. And there's not enough leaders up and down the country. It's a good way of giving the children a moral compass. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Lecture, lecture, lecture. Very, very tired. Got to eat tea. And um, sort everything else out. So, nice to see you again. Uh, I'm back for a bit. We'll get it going. We'll see what we can sort out. And uh, keep watching for following episodes of The Forge. Catch you a bit.